back again today with another DIY. Um, it's a little bit time consuming, so you know if you have a favorite show or something you want to binge watch on Netflix or whatever, I recommend that you turn that on as well. Um, I made four of them and I probably watched a couple of episodes of Gilmore Girls. Um, yes, I'm rewatching it because of the new ones that are coming out in November. Um, but anyways, I kept a couple of them just because I wanted to show you how to make them because they're pretty easy. It's just a little time consuming. So everything you're going to need is you're going to need um, a sewing kit. So like your sewing needle, your thread, um, and maybe some like little like pins so that you can pin stuff together. Um, you're also going to need scissors. You're going to need felt. Um, the color of the felt doesn't really matter. I just chose black because it's what I had. I had some left over from last Halloween. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. Um, and then you need fabric. This is specifically, I chose plaid because, I mean, it, it's great for fall because fall is, when I think of fall, it's very plaid. Um, but it it can also carry over into the winter. And I, I was actually really lucky I went to Value Village and found it in black. So um, I thought that was really great. It was neutral. So I picked it up. It was only a buck ninety nine. If you go to Value Village and definitely like take a look, a look there, and they're like fat. They have like a, a one little like rack that's uh, it's like fabric that you can buy. So definitely go and check there before you go places like Fabricland or Michaels or whatever. Because I know at least in Canada, Michaels is very limited on their fabric. So. Um, yeah, so anyways, just take a shop around when you're looking, or, you know, you can go to Fabricland, which is something we have here in Canada, I don't know if the U.S. has it or not, um, but you have to get a membership with that, and it's like 50 bucks, so if you're getting not very much fabric, and then you have to pay 50 bucks on top of that, it's not really worth it, but, um, if you're going to do more fabric projects in the, in the future, then maybe... Getting a Fabric Land membership would be good because I know that they get discounts and they send coupons and stuff. So, anyway, so I have two, so I have four pieces here. Um, and then, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, do the first step and then come back on and show you. And I'll just kind of do it step by step so that um, you guys can really get a feel for it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So the first step you want to do is you want to line up your pieces of fabric. Um, you're going to want to cut them into squares. They don't have to be like really, really precise, but if that's if that's who you are and, and you want them to be really precise and really accurate, you can use a ruler as well. Um, but I just kind of did a rough cutting. Um, then you want to... Sorry about that. That was my cat. Um, then you want to just kind of pin in the places where you're going to sew and it will just kind of give you a line um, of where you're going to sew and leave one end open because you have to flip this inside out later um, which you'll see but anyways um, so I will get everything threaded and then I will come back and I will show you the like start sewing and stuff okay so you're not going to be able to tell but got my needle threaded um, so I'm going to take this, and you're just going to start uh, at one of the sides. It doesn't really matter, but just keep in mind that you're not opening, you're not closing one of the sides just yet. So um, I would start maybe at either this side or at this side. I wouldn't want to start from the side that's um, where the, across from the opening, just because it'll make it a little bit trickier to... Like you'll have to cut it, tie it off, and then start out like start over again. So, anyways, I'm just going to uh, start there. So I just like to stick it in, um, and then I like to run the needle back through, like put it in between the two pieces of thread that you have, just so that it gives it a firmer, like a firmer knot. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, I'm really sorry. Hopefully I can take pictures of the process with the other one because I plan on putting this on my blog as well. Um, so hopefully I can get up close pictures for you guys and then you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, the lighting isn't the greatest for sewing right now so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. But what I will do, so you just want to follow the line 
and you just want to just a really simple stitch like a kind of in and out stitch you can do this rather quickly um, you just have to watch the thread and make sure you don't pull it too tight because um, you don't want it to bunch up you want it to end up looking like a nice little like rectangle um, and when you get to where the, the pins are it might be a little bit trickier just to do like the in and out stitch thing not sure what that's called but just it's just because you can't really bend the the fabric because the pins in there oops <laughs> so be careful when you're doing this because it, the string can get um, get mixed up and then you can pull your extra your pin out okay so I'm gonna keep going with this and then I'll come back when I am going to turn it inside out and uh, I'll show you the next part okay so it is now sewn three ways across there's the opening um, so all you're gonna do is very carefully it shouldn't come loose but just do it carefully just in case you're just gonna flip it inside out And try and get it see as rectangular as possible okay then you're gonna set that aside and you're gonna take your felt piece you're gonna measure you may actually have to cut this down I ended up having to cut them down so I will I'm going to cut this down Then after you cut it down, you just flip it inside. You may have to kind of work it in there a little bit. There, make sure it's flat and even. There, and then you just flip the edges inside. You're gonna take a couple of your pins again, and you're just gonna pin it shut so that just so that it's easier for you to sew it shut. Um, I found doing this really helped. Go and then the last section. There. So that's what it should look like. You should just have a three three pins depending on the size, just across where you're um, cutting. So then now I'm going to thread up my yarn again or thread up my sewing needle again, and then I will stitch across here. Um. I, I will come back on and show you once I've threaded my yarn. Okay, so I've threaded my yarn. So all you're going to do is start at one end. You're just going to flip it through. And then you just want to create, go through the, the two little sections of thread so that it catches, so that you have a, like a secure, like a more secure knot. Then you're going to loop through the other side. And you're going to pull tight. You're just going to crisscross back and forth. Just closing it up. Don't pull it too tight so that it's like all like scrunchy. Um, but you just want to pull it tight enough so that it doesn't 
undo. And you're just crisscrossing back and forth. And then once you get to the other side, you just want to tie it off and then you're finished. Um, so I will be right back. Okay guys, so that's it. There's your cute little coaster. Small little coaster to put on your table. Super easy, just a little time consuming. That took about probably altogether 20 to a minute to a half an hour. So if you do two of them, you can get through one episode of whatever you're watching. If it's an hour long. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you want more kind of in-depth pictures, um, I will try to get more in-depth pictures. Um, I'll have to kind of play around with it. But um, be sure to go and check out my blog. I'll have this posted on my do-it-yourself blog. It's called The Crafty Canadian. Um, so definitely go check out there if you just kind of need help or feel free to pause the video. I know the video is not um, as in depth, but uh, if, yeah, like I said, just go check out the pictures. I'll try and have more in depth pictures for you guys. Um, anyways, until next time, I hope you guys like this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to have some more DIYs and I'm going to have a fall tag and a house tour and um, I might do like a Thanksgiving vlog. I don't know. I'm still up in the air about that. But um, anyways, until next time, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time.